take a look at the limited edition order that came in. So let's go to that. For limited edition orders, you'll see that there's a PNG titled Certificate of Authenticity. So um, let's go into the text document and see what, what size we need to print this at. Okay, so the image itself is DWB 111. It's a limited edition with the serial number 365008. We'll go to our box of certificates and we'll find the two matching stickers. Three six five zero zero eight. Three six five zero zero eight. They need to match what's on the certificate. So, if in this text file I tell you three six five zero zero eight, but then you open the PNG and it says three six five zero zero four, contact me immediately. Do not use these stickers until I sort things out and tell you what to do. That will hopefully never happen. We have our stickers ready at the side. Um, now we need to use a, a test certificate made from scratch paper or whatever you have. And uh, you've seen the video where I tell you how to make one of these. Now we need to put this in the cannon um, oh, this way, and print out uh, our small TIFF file in professional print and layout. Okay, so I've finished a my adjustments on professional print and layout. It's ready to print the certificate uh, picture for DWB 111. I disconnected the HP and I plugged in the Canon. Um, and as you saw in one of the previous videos, my test sheet is already in there, ready to go. So now let's hit print. And here it is. Um, you can see it's it should be in the right spot in this position. So let's th take this over to the HP printer and finish making our certificate. Okay, so let's go back to the Dropbox folder and find the PNG file that says Certificate of Authenticity. And let's switch out the USB cable for the Canon and replace it with the HP 8600. Now let's adjust the settings for this. Um, everything else looks good. Now we need to put this in the printer. So this is the orientation, um, needs to be flipped. Okay, it is a little bendy, so let's uh, correct that.
see if that works. It's not perfect in there. We'll see. And now let's hit print. It worked! So here we go. Here's uh, our rough draft. And then last, you affix the, the appropriately serialized sticker in the corner. And then Jeff has to come in person and sign this. Well, not this one. This is the, the rough draft. He has to sign the, um, the real one. The one in here. So, since this looks good, next up is repeat everything we just did with the legit paper. So let's set up professional print and layout for this uh, TIFF file. Okay, the this was a setup from some other example I did, so we need to reset. Uh, most of everything. Let's do custom MK Turner 2 uh, paper source cut sheet paper size just yeah 10 by 12 for now. Oh no wait paper size paper size is A4 slot don't have to change alignment don't need custom, just one layout. Top position, 4.09. Um, ooh, this needs to be size, not a margin. 2.76 for the left position. Um, do not maintain the slot aspect ratio. Printer profile is HFA NKW Turner. Let's open DWB 111. Okay, and let's adjust this until the height of this image or the width of this paper is 2.12. Okay, this is still confusing to me, but visually I can see it's too big. So, um, instead of height, let's adjust the width. Two point one two for the width. It's hard to keep track of the vertical versus horizontal images. They're like the opposite of what you're supposed to do. Okay, so this looks fine. Okay, so I've finished a, my adjustments on professional print and layout. It's ready to print the certificate uh, picture for DWB one eleven. I disconnected the HP and I plugged in the Canon. Um, and as you saw in one of the previous videos, my test sheet is already in there, ready to go. So now let's hit print.
and here it is. Um, but you can see it's it should be in the right spot in this position. So let's th take this over to the HP printer and finish making our certificate. Okay, so let's go back to the Dropbox folder and find the PNG file that says Certificate of Authenticity. We're going to download that. Open it. And from this uh, screen, hit the print icon. And let's switch out the USB cable for the Canon and replace it with the HP 8600. Now let's adjust the settings for this. Orientation is a portrait. Paper size is A4. Paper type will do cardstock. Um, everything else looks good. Now we need to put this in the printer. So this is the orientation, um, needs to be flipped. Okay, it is a little bendy, so let's uh, correct that. Let's see if that works. It's not perfect in there. We'll see. And now let's hit print. Here we go. Here's uh, our rough draft. And then last, you affix the, the appropriately serialized sticker in the corner. And then Jeff has to come in person and sign this. Well, not this one. This is the, the rough draft. He has to sign the, um, the real one. The one in here. So, since this looks good, next up is repeat everything we just did with the legit paper.